Auditing Windows Firewall Policies and Rules The Windows Defender Firewall, with advanced security, is a two-way inbound and outbound network traffic filtering solution that enables an additional layer of security on computers by allowing the server or security administrator define rules or policies that controls the type of network traffic allowed or permitted into a computer and the network traffic allowed to leave the computer. Auditors can review the configured firewall settings in group policy and compare with the organization's network security policy and Microsoft security compliance baselines. The Windows Defender Firewall Profiles outlines the default configuration of firewall rules for inbound and outbound connections. To maintain maximum security, it is recommended not to change the default block setting for inbound connections. Rather, specific inbound rules should be created to permit the necessary services and ports. Windows firewall settings are categorized into three main profiles. The domain profile is the default profile in environments where users are authenticated on the network by a central domain controller. This profile is automatically activated when a workgroup computer is joined to an active directory domain. The private profile is used in private networks such as a home network or workgroup computers within an organization. The public profile is recommended for use when connected to public networks like Wi-Fi hotspots at airports or hotels. When adding inbound rules to permit programs, open ports or protocols, or predefined types of traffic, the system or security administrator should take into consideration the firewall rule precedence behavior. Explicit block rules will take precedence over any conflicting allow rules. For example, we have an initial allow rule to permit access to a web application using HTTP on port 80. If we create a conflicting block rule to deny access to the web application, the block rule will supersede the existing allow rule and access to the application will be denied. You can visit auditlytics.com to learn more about this topic and also enroll for the Auditing Windows Server Active Directory Security course.